Things got ugly for Lucas Silva and his Sevilla side in the previous episode. There was turmoil in the dressing room, a fight between Lucas Silva and Franco Vasquez. But now it is time for the club and its players to leave all that behind and focus on what's forward because Sevilla might miss out on finishing in the top four which means no Champions League football this season. So things need to change for this Sevilla side. Right now they're fifth. But a few wins can definitely help their chances for finishing in the top four. And let's hope the Sevilla side can get things together. A lot of players have been underperforming lately. But let's hope Lucas and the gang can string together a few good results which will propel them into the top four. But anyways guys, hopefully you're enjoying this My Player Career Mode series. And if you guys are, make sure to drop a like on this video. Let's smash out 400 likes. That'd be incredible. And if you guys are new around here... Do subscribe for more FIFA 18 and FIFA 19 career mode content in the very near future. Right now we've got Celta Vigo away from home. The last La Liga game that we did play was against Barcelona and we got a positive result, a draw against them. But now we've got to build upon that result to try and get more points on board to finish in the top four. First chance did come for Sevilla. Lucas putting in a fabulous cross. Unfortunately... Couldn't convert, but only a few moments later, a massive opportunity for Sevilla as Nzonzi's header hits the crossbar. Very unfortunate to not take the lead there. And that has been the case in the last few games for us. We've created a lot of chances, but just haven't been able to convert them as Diego Aspas gets an opportunity. That was poor defending there from Lucas Silva. And this game kind of has been dubbed as Diego Aspas versus Wissam Ben Yedda. Now, keeping in mind, Ben Yedda hasn't scored in the last five games for his club. I'm really hoping Ben Yedda can perform and turn up because we need him to score. Because right now, we need the top players at this club putting in their level best performances. In the 28th minute, another opportunity for Steven and Zonzi, whose shot takes a massive deflection. But again, good build-up play to get there. As now, Diego Aspas has an opportunity. Lenglet does put in the tackle. Ball finds its way to Was, who gets the shots off. Thankfully, Sergio Rico was positioned well and he didn't have to do much to make the save. As again, Diego Aspas and Lucas Silva battling it. That was one battle that went on throughout the game. Look at that. Diego Aspas taking down Lucas Silva. Not the best of challenges there. He does not get himself booked though, but that was given as a foul. Again, both of them were just going at it throughout this game. But now Lucas Silva gets in behind the Celta Vigo defense. Puts in the cross to Ben Yedda who finally scores after not scoring in his last five games for Sevilla. He finally turns up and it's an assist from Lucas Silva. And the Sevilla number nine puts Sevilla into the lead. And this, guys, could be a massive result for the club. You guys know how things were in the previous episode. Turmoil in the dressing room. Of course, getting knocked out in the Champions League and in the Spanish Cup within the space of like 10 days. Getting back to winning ways, especially in this crucial moment when qualifying for the Champions League is at stake, is huge. And now this result and that Barcelona draw result has definitely helped the side get back into a solid spot and hopefully going forward with a few more wins we can stake a claim for being in the top four without having to you know go all the way to the end of the season so that's the plan a goal at last for Ben Yedda of course massive moment for him five games without scoring and finally he scored a goal also more praise for Lucas Silva as he's hailed as a game changer it's honestly a bit funny how a fictional character can be a game changer already, but I'm not an EA game changer. Oh well, EA, please make me a game changer. But anyways, let's just ignore all that. Lucas Silva gets himself another team of the week card, this time being 85 rated for that brilliant performance he did put in, getting himself an assist as well against Celta Vigo. And it's not that, he's also got himself a three-star skill moves now, which is great because now he can do the heel-to-heel -heel flick which I believe is a very important skill move. So keep your eyes peeled out because you might see Lucas Silva doing them, you know, heel to heel flicks more often, trying to beat the final defensive guy or the right back of the opposing team to try and put in them crosses and help his team out. Or maybe even just easing the pressure out from the back. So three star skill moves I feel is vital and it's great that Lucas Silva now has that. It's also a bit annoying that even after that solid result against Celta, we are still outside the top four. It just shows that work isn't still done yet. We've still got to continue performing well and getting those results in so that we can, of course, 
get into the top four. Right now we face sixth place Villarreal who are also trying to get a spot in the top four. So this is going to be a competitive game against the Yellow Submarines as Lucas Silva starts off really well beating one. Still Lucas Silva. Look at the pace from Lucas Silva putting that 86 pace to good use. Still Lucas Silva beats a couple of plays as well. Holds on to the ball. Finds Steven and Zonzi. And that is actually a beautiful goal there from Sevilla. The way actually Lucas Silva just bombarded through the Villarreal defense was brilliant to watch. His pace is lethal, man. And then the layoff was pretty good and the finish from Enzonzi placed it perfectly as Sevilla get into the lead. Thankfully, fortunes are turning for Sevilla. The team is now performing at a completely different level and it's noticeable, guys. Like the likes of Enzonzi, Ben Yedda, they seem like different players now. Look at Ben Yedda again. Brilliantly holds up the play, finds Franco Vasquez who really should have scored that. Missed opportunity for the Italian there. And we really should have made it 2-0 before half time. But we're still looking the dominant side. Things still looking really good for us as Lucas Silva with the ball roll completely sells his man there. Still Lucas Silva. Fantastic run from the Brazilian. Lucas Silva cuts it back, but Victor Ruiz does get the ball away for Villarreal. Again, some good football from the Sevilla team as we might actually have another chance. Here's Correa. Joaquin Correa now on the attack. Cuts inside. Still Correa plays this one into and Zonzi. What an opportunity for the Frenchman. He really should have doubled up his tally in this one. Should have been a brace there for Nzonzi, but he couldn't score that. As now another chance though for the Brazilian. Lucas Silva beats his man with the heel-to-heel -heel flick. Puts in a solid cross. And just as I said, the heel-to-heel -heel flick comes in clutch. As Ben Yedda scores from the resulting cross. Solid header from the Frenchman who's finally found his form. And has now scored in the last two games. Giving Sevilla now a 2-0 advantage against Villarreal. And the win here will definitely put us back in the top four which is amazing and getting two wins in a row right now I think is massive because our next game is against Real Madrid and anything can happen in that game because we know how good the Spanish Giants are so it's great that we've managed to get the victory here another solid performance from Lucas Silva this time getting a couple of assists in one game I think that's the most he's done in a single game and Lucas Silva is quickly turning out to be an assist king in La Liga which is great to see a 9.2 match rating for him again one thing you would have noticed this Lucas Silva in the recent few games has been sticking a lot more to the touchline which has certainly helped the Sevilla side create more opportunities so let's hope this can continue going forward and as you guys can see the Spanish press now believe that this Sevilla side feels completely different to what they were a few weeks ago which is great and that is what that is what we need that is the kind of mentality we need going forward because finishing top four we've got to be at our level best because this league is very competitive and our next game is against one of the best teams in the country Real Madrid if not the best of course with Ronaldo leading them 11 assists for Cristiano Ronaldo but Lucas Silva isn't far off well he is I guess with five assists but Lucas Silva has the same amount of assists as Lionel Messi which is in insane to be honest and also Lucas did get himself another informed card for his fantastic performance against Villarreal now back to back informed cards that really doesn't happen often for a left back, but that's how good Lucas has been in the last few games. It's great to see great gameplay finally in this series because, you know what, I'll be honest, last few episodes the gameplay hasn't been up to the mark. But this episode though, we've been playing some great FIFA, Lucas Silva as well, as we are finally back in the top four, third in fact. And a win here against Real Madrid could really make the title race interesting. I'm not saying Sevilla would be in the title race, but you never know. Things could get really heated between Madrid and Barcelona. But this is the team Sevilla have gone for. Lucas starting out as the left back. Very interesting to see Muriel play a striker. Maybe we'll see Ben Yedda at some other point in this game. But as you guys can see, Ronaldo warming up. He's starting. Bale is starting. And in Dzeko playing instead of Benzema, which is very, very interesting. But this could be Lucas Silva versus Cristiano Ronaldo. Thankfully, Cristiano plays on the other side because defending against Cristiano Ronaldo would be an impossible task. His movement would literally kill Lucas Silva in this game. But thankfully, he's playing on the other side as we did manage to actually create a half chance there. But Real Madrid being good defensively cleared the ball away as we might still have a chance. Ball played out wide to Joaquin Correa. And am I the only one who thinks Joaquin is the coolest name a person can get? I don't know why, but that's just how I feel. But that was a foul on Lucas Silva and things couldn't really work out from that attack. But in the 49th minute, Lucas Silva charging forward from that left back position. Still Lucas now could put in a good cross maybe. And Alto Vidal, who is Real Madrid's new signing. Real Madrid seemed to sign Alto Vidal in every FIFA 18 career mode. But anyways, 
we couldn't score from that. But here's Ronaldo laying it off to Gallant Bale. And Bale puts Real Madrid into the lead. Cristiano Ronaldo with the assist for that one. But what was Lucas Silva doing? Let's just make that clear. That was terrible defending from him. We can just appreciate Lucas Silva's attacking ability, but defending-wise, he's still got a lot to learn. He kept Bale onside for that, and that was really poor from him. As Muriel plays this one out wide to Joaquin Correa. Still, Correa gets the shots off. Big save from Kalo Navas as the score remains 1-0 to Madrid. We need to score soon because otherwise this game will end in a Real Madrid win. We might still have a chance though now. Lucas Silva finds Sarabia. Sarabia now into Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder shoots and Wissam Ben Yedder scores in his third consecutive game. And this goal is massive because it's against Real Madrid. The equaliser as well in the 66th minute. A brilliant goal as well from him. The finish was just perfect. Again, the build-up play. Lucas Silva involved, which is great. But now we might actually have another opportunity. Lucas Silva does get pushed off the ball. But here's Karim Benzema. Lucas Silva then shows great aggression to win the ball back. And Sarabia now finds Nolito. What a goal from Nolito. That is a banger and a half from the Spaniard. I mean, I did not see that coming because that strike was just perfection at its best. Top right corner, it hits the crossbar and goes in. What an effort from Nolito. He's been subbed on. I haven't seen him being played often this season, but he makes the impact against Real Madrid and what a goal it was as well. No way Keylor Navas was keeping that one out and things could get even worse for Real Madrid as they've gone ultra-attacking. They can't do much against this side as Lucas puts in a fabulous cross to Ben Yedder. And he's just destroyed Real Madrid right there with an absolutely phenomenal finish with that right foot. What a volley that was to put Sevilla into a 3-1 lead against Real Madrid. A few weeks ago, you would have said to me that Sevilla would be beating Madrid 3-1. I'd probably punch you in the face, but it's actually happened and I can't believe it. Lucas Silva now getting four assists in his last three games. That's actually insane. Six assists in La Liga so far and let's hope he can continue putting in these kind of performances as the game comes to an end and we do get a massive massive win against Real Madrid a lot of attributes going up for Lucas Silva which is great 8.7 match rating but this game probably Ben Yedder in my opinion would have been man of the match he was brought on as a sub and he got the job done for the team now, um, something that might actually shock you, we actually have a chance of winning the league, which is just insane. We're just two points off Barcelona, and if things go our way, we could be lifting the trophy, but that's something we should not think about. Top four is our goal. Let's hope we can achieve that. In the meanwhile, with all these good results and all, I thought it was the perfect time to just enjoy life, splurge a bit of cash that Lucas has been making lately at Sevilla. He's enjoying his football and all, so why not enjoy life off the pitch as Lucas Silva picks up this gorgeous red car and it looks fabulous. We're going to take it for a spin, just enjoy life and just chill out man because Lucas Silva has been, has been putting the hard work for Sevilla after all the turmoil in the dressing room, after all the fights. Sevilla have bounced back so it's just time now to relax and enjoy get prepped for the upcoming La Liga games which will be ending the season off and hopefully we can end the season off in a high so good to see Lucas Silva enjoying life with Sevilla. Also one thing I wanted to ask you guys out of 10 what rating would you give to Lucas Silva season including the games at Wolves and including the games at Sevilla let me know in the comment section or you guys feel like end of the season is the right time for putting up such a poll for you guys to let me know in the comment section regardless it's been a really fun episode to record lucas silva finally getting the job done for sevilla in terms of assists and all and even the entire team is performing let's hope the sevilla side can finish the season strong and secure top four that is it for today's episode really hope you guys have enjoyed this one if you guys have had make sure to smash that like button 400 likes would be insane subscribe if you're new around here i'll see you guys next time